Hello everybody, this is Angie. This is my channel about cross stitching. So if you are here for something else, you can go ahead and go. <laughs> because I'm gonna talk about cross stitch. Um, today, I should be in Cincinnati, Ohio, checking out, chilling out, visiting with all my stitching friends. Hello, stitching friends, I miss you guys. Next year, right? Next year we'll be there. I hope all of you are well. I'm good. Life is good. Let's talk. Let's talk some cross stitch. Um, let's start out with. Let's see. Let's start out with my finish. I got a fully, fully finish. I finished humble honey. I made it into a little pillow, and it's filled with sawdust. And I got the Jabco buttons that go with it. So it sits downstairs with my my little bee display, my little summer display. I don't remember if I showed this last time or not, but I got this Long May She Wave by Priscilla and Chelsea. And I've ordered the threads because, oh my gosh, that truck color. That truck color is called Rain Shower by Classic Color Works. I just love that. I love a good blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. And I got Sam and Liberty. That's some of my haul. I also got the new Prairie Schooler Santa. You know, I have several of these. I've yet to stitch one. Maybe this will be my year to stitch one, right? Um, I got this Rovaris. This one is, mm -hmm, I don't know what it's called but it's bees. I got this from Jen's Stitching Niche. I've never ordered from Jen before and I would highly recommend her because she was super fast. I also ordered for the first time ever from Kitten Stitcher, Teresa. Um, she was talking about this pattern. This is by Raise the Roof Designs, Uncle Sam's What's it say? Sam socks, shorts, and such. And she was showing that and talking about it, and I just decided I had to have it. And, you know, you can't let things travel alone. So I got some gray, gray and white polka dot, 36 count. I foresee something Christmas on here. That's what I foresee. So that's what I bought. I got a little present in the mail. I don't have, I didn't ask permission to share who gave this, but she knows who she is. She knows, and she knows what I love. Isn't that adorable? It's just a plate that she put a glued a magnet onto it. And I just love it because I love Snoopy. All right. Oh, before I forget, I've forgotten, I don't know how many millions of times to show you this. I forget the company. Sorry, but somebody, I think it's, I think this is knitted. Maybe? Is it crocheted? I don't think it's crocheted. I think this is knit. I, um, a company was putting out these peanuts kits and Snoopy was offered and I don't know how to do this and I wouldn't have done it justice. And so I put on, on social media, hey, if I buy this kit, who will make it for me? And this very sweet lady, Mary, said, I'll do it for you. So I bought it and sent it to her and she made me Snoopy. And he sits, he sits on my dresser with this little pillow tucked under his chin. That somebody, some sweet lady who loves frogs made me a couple years ago. So fits very nicely in my, in all things Snoopy. You notice I'm sitting, I'm, my world looks a little bit different because my husband probably won't go back to the office. He'll be one of the last people to go back in, and that might be January. So he, we decided, I, I, get, I cleaned my sewing room, and so he has a place. So my sewing machine got moved, and I cleaned this all off, and now this is his half office. So it's working, and he likes it. And he said it's like, a, now, it, now it feels like going to work, and he could leave work 
Whereas before when he was in the dining room, he might go through the dining room and go, oh, I need to sit down and look at that email or I forgot to do something. And this way, once he's done, then he can walk away. So he'll be fine. Um, I'm almost done with Tori stocking. I just got to put her name on there. And I've decided I'm going to use, I haven't matched up the colors yet. I don't know if I told you guys this. I'm going to use the DMC Etoile for it. I just have to figure out, you know, looks like this red might be the winner. So I don't know, can you see how sparkly it is? So, yep, I'll be doing that. Um, yes. All right, so here's Let Freedom Ring. Where's, here's what it looks like, Lila's Studio, Let Freedom Ring. I'm sure you've seen it many times. I'm pretty close to having this side done. I need to finish more of these trees. They're pretty encompassed, but I have that done. And I've made my way over here because I kind of got tired of that. And I've got the roof and working on the next section and I've made a mistake. I think I've made a mistake down here, which then kind of made this. This might be off by one now, but I've made a counting error down here. So I kept working on this in the evening and there wasn't good enough light. So I'm not 100% sure I'm off. So Sunday, Sunday's going to be my stitch con day. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to touch everything I own that's already started and um, get things fixed. And I'm going to work on that. That will go first. All right. So what else do I have? Little House Needleworks, take me out to the ball game. Here's where I am. It's in my Chicago Cubs bag. I started Knee High. This is by Kathy Haberman of Hands On Design. And I've not gotten very far with it. Like literally not gotten very far. There's a there's some of the fence post. And I believe this is on the called for fabric, which is Warm Sugar by Stephanie. But I can't. There's no tag on it. And I I think keepsakes might have kitted it up for me, but I'm can't quote me on that. But if you go, if you know, you can comment below. Let me know. So yesterday we did, I got to car stitch. We made a trip up to Chicago to get our son Thomas. Then we went to Indiana to get him and my son fitted for their suits for Ben's wedding. Because Men's Warehouse isn't open yet here. And then we came back. And I made a post to put on Instagram. My Instagram name is Bubmai, B-U-B-M-I-E. It's my maiden name and my married name. I made this great car stitching post about it. I don't know what happened. I, I looked last night and it's not there. I don't know what I did wrong. But anyways, I'm working on this. This is um, a Bluebird Salute Luminous Fiber Arts Misty Purcell. And I am doing this in... Um, not exactly the called for colors, but kind of, sort of. The body is the called for. The flag post is the called for. This is, um, I think it's Classic Color Works Dungarees. Wait, is that Classic Color Works? Let me see. Not Classic Color Works. Gentle Arts. Sorry. Gentle Arts Dungarees is his wing. And then the... Um, the red for the flag and the red in his hat is, um, what is it? It's a color in cotton, and I want to say it's Bing Cherry, but I noticed in my bag that the tag is missing. But I think it's Bing Cherry. I know it's color in cotton. If I find my tag, I will, I have a feeling it's in the car and... I'm sure my boys have thrown it away by now if they've spotted it. I got to go the other day 
and stitch while I was getting my pedicure done. So I've been working on this Lizzie Kate Autumn. It probably will be autumn before I get it done because it's taking me forever to stitch the background of those corn, the corn stalks. The Sorry, my needles. I threw it down there. I started, as I got Tori's stocking done, I've started on Char's stocking, and here will be what, here's what I'm doing for her, and I've been working on the gray wisps of his beard. Okay, um, I told you guys last time I was struggling with all of the colors for my Paula Bond that I'm doing that I haven't touched. And so I found this empty, I had this empty, this little tote I got at Hobby Lobby and I put all the colors for the Paula Bond on this, on the rings. Okay, you guys, I'm cracking up. Let Freedom Ring will be bigger than the Paula Vaughn, but Paula Vaughn by far has a lot more colors than Let Freedom Ring. I'm not 100% happy with them in here. They're like in numerical order on the rings, so that'll be a little bit easier to find. When I was at Hobby Lobby today, I purchased a box that now is AWOL. This is take two of my video. I started rambling like a knucklehead at the end I was almost done and I was rambling nonsensically and so I had to start again because I don't know how to edit someday I'll know how to edit but I bought a plastic box today to put them to put the flosses in this is the box that I keep my let freedom ring threads in um, I like how that works there's not as many uh, I probably should have just bought another one of these because I really like this box. They have this at Hobby Lobby, but I got a plastic one. Okay, tomorrow, tomorrow's my birthday. So I promised myself a big start tomorrow. So I can't decide if I should start on Santa. This is the Needles Notion Sampler Santa. Sorry, I didn't take it out of the package. I think uh, there's been quite a few people I've seen that have gotten that done. Or do I want to do a sampler? And I've got this all kitted up. I bought it when I was down in Franklin, Tennessee. Um, this is an antique sampler reproduction of Mary Atkinson from March 4th, 1817. I was trying to find earlier how old she was. When we were in Franklin, we I got to I got to look at this sampler that was hanging on the wall. And I really like it. It's not very big. It I bought the kit, it all came kitted up. So, we'll see what I feel like tomorrow. I'll be off to tune in next time to see which one did I decide to go ahead with. Okay. Trying to decide what should I do. I think I'll go ahead. I'm going to show you. I cleaned up this room and I've got all my kits and all my things together beautifully. Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do on Sunday. And I'm only gonna to touch them if they've been started. So I started a while ago. This is a Little House Needleworks apples. where I'm at. Oops. Um, 
I haven't, I'm just going to show you this picture because I, I haven't put any stitches in it. I'm working on, this is um, Jack Nabbit. Serious Black. It's a Serious Black from Harry Potter. My son, Ben. Um, my son, Ben, loves him. Loves Harry Potter. I don't think I've shown you guys this one in forever. Maybe never. I don't know. This is the Acorns and Threads Mystery Sampler from 2017. I'm so far behind on this sucker, it's not funny. This is where I'm at. Way behind. Way, way behind. So that needs some love. I love the one they're doing from this year, but I don't need another huge start. All right? Um, Santa's House by Tiny Modernist. I quit stitching on this once I needed it to be warm weather out. I'm superstitious that way. This is an embroidery piece that I got at Michael's, the bee's knees. And it's gotten a little bit of, excuse my, um, this is by the artsy the artsy, artsy cross stitch, the guitar moonlight, landscape moonlight. And this, I'm not very far. I think, oh, it goes this way, like literally, not very far. That's supposed to be a gift. I don't know if it's going to get given. I'm just kind of falling, falling in love with it. It might have to stay here. We'll see. We'll see. That sounds awful, doesn't it? Um, I promised my friend um, Avi I would make the, him this. This is May Godzilla Destroy This Home Last. Here's a quick picture of it. This one is hard because there's a lot of like really dark colors on it. Making that for my high school classmate, Avi. Need to get that thing done. Uh, let's see what else do I have. Oh, this is by Pedal Pusher. I got this at StitchCon last year. Stitched together by a common thread. I've just pulled colors. I'm just, just as far as I've gotten. Um, this is a. Yep. This is a Lizzie Kate. Oops. A little Lizzie Kate. Oh, I'm doing, it's hard to see. I'm doing Joy that's down here in this bottom corner. And I'm pretty close. Oh. So I was working, this is by um, Modern Folk. Modern Folk. Um, this is Agnus Day, and I'm doing it on purple with white. I have not picked this up in a while either, sorry. I started in the middle. Oh, maybe a 
goes this way. I don't know which way it goes, but I think it goes this way. Sorry, it's very wrinkly. Maybe that's his tail. That's his tail. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it goes that way. I should have been counting as I was going along. Plum Street Samplers. This is Mary Yu. Mary Yu. I'm sure you've seen lots of people have done this. I'm doing this on 25 count I can't read that 25 count of something sparkly can you see the sparkles I've been working on well I have and I've been working on it I haven't touched it I need to finish the March Snowflower Diaries. There's where I'm at. Um, have you guys been counting? There's a lot. Uh, oh, another little tiny embroidery piece. I got this in a kit. starburst snowflake kind of thing. Okay, that one's not been started. Not started. I don't know if this counts as a start or not. It doesn't. I don't have a thread in. But everything's here. It's the One Nation. Maybe that will be my new start. Maybe that will be my new start. I got three choices for tomorrow. And then, okay. And then the last one that there's a start on is Paula Vaughn, the July quilt for all seasons. This is the quilt. And see how far. So those are all my whips. They're all gonna get touched on Sunday. I can't wait to come back again and show you guys where I'm at. Oh, I have one more whip. And then this will be the end. So um I told you that Ben's getting married July eleventh. We're going down to Alabama. We're very excited. We can't wait 30 days from today. Yes, we're very excited. Um, Thomas and Char were getting married October 24th and they have postponed their wedding. She has, um, Charlene has family in California and New York and um, they want to know that they can get here and get back and Char just wants to be able to enjoy the day with family and friends and not worry about anything. And so they are postponing until next year, October 23rd. Because Alabama has never, um, where they're getting married, they've never stopped doing weddings, so canceling was not an option. So, um, I'm just gonna say briefly, the world has gone the world has gone crazy. Our country's gone crazy. We've got a lot of work to do. As an educator, I am worried about going back to school because of my students' mental health. I'm very worried about that. And I will share with you that we have gone through a very tough time in the last month. Um, our college son had to give up spring break, which he had this big spring break trip planned, and had to come home and do online learning, and not all of his professors were 
up to par. There were some things that happened that were very challenging for him and upsetting. He's a, he's a serious student and he's very involved at school. And um, once finals were done, he, he struggled and we went through a mental health crisis. And my husband and I, going to be 22 years ago in July, lost our son Jeffrey and we thought that that was the hardest thing we would ever go through as parents and that was not. Helping your almost adult son, for all practical purposes, adult son through a mental health crisis was, uh, was quite the challenge and probably the scariest thing we've ever done. But he's better and he is getting the help that he needs and he is on medication and we are moving forward. And he's moving forward and he's very open about what happened to him and what went on. And so um, given everything, and Amy, Amy Loves Toads shared that she can't be on social media right now because she can't take the negativity. My son can't take the negativity right now. Our world is full of opinions and information and false information and it's a tough it's a lot of it's a lot of to to deal with and to um and to go through and so um one of my whips is um mother Teresa. i love mother Teresa. and so i spent time tonight putting some stitches in her in into this one and one of my favorite quotes that Mother Teresa said is that we can't all do great things, but we can do things with great love. And right now, everybody, everybody has their own personal battles they're dealing with. I've, I've talked with several stitching friends who, are, who, who have personal battles that are going on. And we don't need to judge we need to give everyone grace and show everyone grace and kindness and love and know that if we all if we all do what we can if we all show kindness if we all um, give each other grace and spend this time educating ourselves and listening and doing the little bit that we can do it's going to make our world a better place and so I hope that you are well. If you have any questions or comments or anything that you would like, um, you would like to send me, I'll put my email below. Feel free to reach out to me. You don't have to, but if you want to, you know, I'm happy to have a dialogue. Um, I'm working to better myself listening and educating. I'm taking a class online about, um, I don't remember the title of it, but it has to do with, with racism and what's going on right now but I'd be happy to chat with you uh, I want I want floss tube and our stitching world that's where my escape is and that's where a lot of people's escape is and I want it to be kind and happy and supporting one another and um, I hope you're well and uh, I'm just like going and uh, you know I hope you get time to stitch and enjoy the weather. It's beautiful out and that all is good with you. Until I see you next time, bye-bye.